Today in this video, I am going to discuss the interfacing of Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with Arduino. Node MCU module comes with different versions. For example, ESP01, ESP02, all the way to ESP12. Table shows the ESP modules with their number of pins. For example, ESP01, it comes with the 8 pins. Out of the 8 pins, there are 2 GPIO pins. ESP12, it comes with 30 pins. ESP01 module consists of 8 pins. There are 2 GPIO pins, 2 UART pins, that is transmit and receive, 1 reset, 1 enable, 1 ground pin, and 3.3 hold power pin. Applications of Node MCU module ESP8266 is a Wi Fi enabled system on chip and it is used for development of IoT based embedded systems. So, there are many applications of Node MCU, few of them are enlisted here smart home automation system, smart farm automation system to make the industrial devices smart, that is Industry 4.0, and smart healthcare. Let us see the features of ESP8266 model. So it comes with the 2.4 GHz PCB Wi-Fi antenna. It supports IEEE 802.11 BGN standards. It has general purpose input output pins. There is a inbuilt 10 bit ADC. It is integrated with the TCP IP protocol stack. For communication, it supports I2C protocol. SPI protocol and UART protocol. There is a I2S inter IC sound interface with DMA. Pulse width modulation feature is also present. On chip RAM, ROM, and flash memory, and it has a 32 bit RIS processor. Figure shows the overview of the Node MCU development board. So, development board consists of 2.4 GHz PCB antenna. This is a Wi Fi chip on board USB to TTL converter IC, 3.3 volt voltage regulator IC. There are two buttons one is flash button and reset button, and micro USB connector. Now, let me show you how to install the Arduino software. So, in the Google, you can type Arduino ID download. So, you'll get the option download and install Arduino ID. Click it. So, it will take you to the Arduino website. Therein, you can see download and install Arduino ID. So Arduino ID is present for three different operating systems, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So you can check your system configuration and accordingly you can download the Arduino ID for your operating system. For Windows, you can click here, download the latest release. It will download your software. Now go to the download folder. You can double click this software and follow the steps to install this software. So double click the Arduino icon and your Arduino will open up something like this. So by default, you will have two functions that is wide setup, wide loop. Now let us see how to configure the Arduino software. So go to the file, preferences. In the preferences, we have option additional boards manager. Here you have to copy this URL, say OK. Then go to the tools, boards, Boards Manager. So type here ESP8266. So you can see here it is giving me the board information. Click on the install and it will start installing the packages for the ESP8266 module. After installation, close this window. Go to the tools again. Then boards. You can see the option ESP8266 boards is got added here. While selecting the option, make sure whichever module is available with you, you have to select that module. Go to the tools again and select the COM port. So in my case, it's a COM4. So I will select that. Now, this is a sketch. So in the sketch, I will type the program. So this is a program for onboard LED, which is connected at GPIO 16, which is also named at D0. So let's have a look at this program. In the white setup function, First, we'll configure the LED pin as output by using the function pin mode. And in the loop function, we are going to turn on and off the LED. So to turn on the LED and to turn off the LED, we are using a function detail write. And we have called a delay of one second. Connect the node MCU module. So we'll verify the program. 
so compiling is done there is no error then we will upload the program so program is getting uploaded into the node mcu module so uploading completed successfully so here's the output of the given program so you can see here onboard led is blinking